What's happening guys? This is Ganeen Miles. And this video, man, where do I even start this video? What a crazy, crazy year this has been. This is a 2021 kind of recap video, just recapping the highlights of this year. And um, the best year on YouTube for me. And that's all thanks to you guys. I didn't write a script for this video, so it's going to be all over the place. And I really apologize for that, guys. But I just had to make this video before the year ends. And um, I hope you enjoy reliving some of the moments that we had this year. First off, I want to start this video off by talking about our amazing subscriber milestones. We not only hit one, not two, not three, but we hit four subscriber milestones, guys. We hit 400 subscribers, 500 subscribers where I did a Q&A. And we unlocked that community tab, though. Man, I seriously love talking to you guys and getting to know you guys through that. I'm going to continue to ask you guys questions. Thank you, YouTube, for lowering the community tab requirements from 1K down to 500. I love y'all. 600 subscribers and 700 subscribers guys do you know how incredible that feels I honestly have no words we started off the year strong uploading on january 1st where we uploaded veinless property which is an indie horror game i still remember uploading that and editing it and it feels like yesterday honestly when we when we played that game i don't know what happened with the time this year but when you're in the moment it feels slow but looking back it's like what happened to the time it feels like it was just 2020, but we had so many collabs with people like A. Roberts Gaming, Wisdom For You, my longtime pal, Juice Meister, Stella, Couch Breaker, Hassan, Andre Plays, Cursed Ring, DVD Gamer Girl, Zenray TV, Free Judge Seeker for Team C's. Man, we played DVD for the first time this year, guys. Did I just fake him out? Did I just do that? That ain't Falco! That ain't Falco! I played it with Wisdom for You, played Phasmophobia for the first time with Couchbreaker and Wisdom. I just had, man, I'm speechless. We played Devour for the first time. She's here. <clears throat> yeah, she's here. Oh. Yeah. There! Vulcan! Ah! Take this UV. UV! It's good. Even though we didn't win, we will win one day. Played Sign of Silence with Zenray TV. What a what a crazy year this has been for collabs. I, you know, looking back, I didn't even realize we did so many collabs. We played our first AAA game, Resident Evil Village. This is Resident Evil 8. 8! Relax. Now, technically, this is the second AAA game because I do have Silent Hill 2 up on the channel that I uploaded years ago, but Village is the first new release we played on in on this channel, and my goodness, what fun did I have with this game. Oh, no, no, no! Oh my god. The sniper's too slow! Dude! Oh my god! It was awesome conquering that game, and it was awesome having you guys there with me. We also played a handful of RPG Maker games, like Dungeon Rummage by the legend himself, Harlequin, aka Simple Gaming. Now, Genin Boy, finish it! Yeah, I will not let you destroy my world! Whoa! Ultimate Genin Boy! And we got featured in the credits, guys. Like, are you serious? I never thought I'd get featured in any person's credits. We played Wandering in the Darkness by Nuva Art. We played Dear Brother by Nita. We played my, my pal Wrath of Woods games, which is just amazing. Um, I do have one I need to edit still, so that's going to be a 2021 video uploaded in 2022. Um, we also played Zola's Nightmare, the demo, the alpha build by... The extremely talented Aziel Ben Israel. Oh, yeah. 
I can't wait to see what 2022 has in store for you because you have talents beyond our limits. <laughs> it's an incredible game, man. Going back to the indie games really quick, a highlight for me, or a few highlights for me, was Fragile, um, which was recommended to me by Asteria Sherry a long time ago. The amazing Asteria Sherry, I hope you're doing well. Fragile really opened my eyes to the horrors of human trafficking and let, led me to finding the Polaris Project. So thank you so much, Asteria, for recommending that game to me because it really opened my eyes. And another awesome game that I remember playing and having a real, really good time with was um, Spooky Jumpscare Mansion. <laughs> recommended to me by harlequin guys we also had our first stream our first live stream for halloween a flat no we don't have a flashlight crap and they locked the door behind us locked the door behind us this is this, this is gonna be loud as heck I have to oh, man. and that's where we end the stream guys so what what <laughs> my goodness how nerve-wracking was that guys but we did it you show me utmost, the utmost love and support I could ever have wished for. I can't even formulate a sentence right now because you guys were there from the beginning till the end. I loved every second of your rhymes, your raps, everything, guys. I couldn't have asked for a better group of people to know. Speaking of rhymes and raps, we had a beat named after us, guys, by the extremely legendary Rich R.W. Stop. Thank you, bro, man. I love you, man, for making that beat for me. Oh my gosh, just thinking about it gives me chills. Thank you. Just thank you, man. And um, thank you for all of the fire beats you shared with me. The biggest highlight of this year for me were all of the new friends I made. And all of the friends that I met this year, all of the, not only the dev friends I met, you know, the indie devs, friends in general but the content creator friends you guys know who you are you guys are the most wholesome group of people that i man could have ever wished to know i just love all y'all and i'm just so thankful and grateful to god to have met every single one of you seriously here are the stats that youtube sent me this year they sent this back on december 14th so about two weeks ago and um i know this is a little skewed because one of my videos got blessed by the algorithm as you can see but just look at all of the support, all of the comments, all the likes you guys gave me. I went, I couldn't have asked for a better 2021 this year. I really couldn't have. You guys made it special and I hope I could have brought a smile to your face this year. You know, if you were down, I hope the videos could have, you know, lifted your mood a little bit. That's the goal. Speaking of goals for next year, um, I want to play more indie horror games, of course. I want to continue branching out to new genres of games. RPG Maker Games. I do owe my dude Harlequin another video for Dungeon Rummage. I'm so behind on that. More streams, hopefully. Uh, hopefully some charity streams and stuff like that. The nerves, man. I don't know what's with the nerves. And then this laptop sounding like Eric Genning. I gotta fix that problem. <laughs> but yeah, more live streams, hopefully, because I really did have so much fun with that. Um, being more available for my friends and being more consistent. Y'all notice at the end of the year, I've been kind of slacking with the uploads and it's because I have a lot going on and, you know, I haven't been able to play games with my friends and family like I want to. And I feel like, you know, I need to be there more for you guys. And hopefully I'll be able to do that next year. This is one reason why I want to be able to make clones of myself, guys, because I just want to be there for you guys all the time because you guys deserve all the love. And another goal is making even more friends. I wanna make more creative friends, more developer friends, more friends in general. I really hope I didn't miss anything in this video. I, just, I didn't wanna keep you guys too long for this one. Hopefully this is under 10 minutes and I didn't <laughs> talk your ears out, but talk your ears off, talk your ears out. Oh my goodness. But, but thank you guys again. Remember that I'll always love you no matter what. And I hope you have a happy new year. I'll see you guys in 2022. Stay safe, healthy, awesome, and amazing. Later.